Right guys, what is up? And welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another Rugby Player Reacts video. In this video, we're looking at the 78th best player in the NFL from over 1,600 players. The 78th best player in the NFL for the year 2020. His name's Tyron Smith. He's a tackle for the Dallas Cowboys. I feel like this is our first Dallas Cowboys player. I might be wrong. Look, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I feel like it is. And with that being said, I know the Dallas Cowboys fan base is the biggest, or one of the biggest, in the NFL. Um, and with that being said, I think it's time to get into it. Tyron Smith, tackle for the Cowboys. I've been, I've been working to the morning, yeah. yeah. They've been sleeping now, I swear they storming, yeah. yeah. And I swear I'm cooking like a foreman, foreman. Uh, and my foreman jumping like a Jordan on my way. Tell him I'm my lane, I've been praying Yeah, yeah, gotta say this thing, I'm the same I don't need another person telling me I can't Yeah, he's fucking big alright Not only Smith, but Collins, Williams, and 72 Look at that line! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Is he an offensive tackle? Who's the best player right now at your position in the game? Whew. That's a good question. I would say Tyron Smith. There is a defensive tackle, right? There is a defensive tackle. And then defensive end. Sure, he's 6'5 and weighs in the neighborhood of 330 pounds, but size alone hasn't kept... Okay, so he's an offensive tackle. He's playing left tackle. Smith near the top of his position for a decade. A decade? For young offensive linemen, he is the complete package. <laughs> when he punches, it's like little little rattlesnake shots. It just, and, it's, and it's pretty cool to watch as a younger, upcoming player. You got enough fucking metal on, mate? Watching how he handles when he's initiated in the block is really like where you learn. How he turns his shoulders and puts his hand on the inside of a guy's armpit, which is just to lock him down and seal the, the outside edge block. The all-decade left tackle suffered a high ankle sprain in week four. With Smith sidelined, Dallas went winless. Prescott back, flushed, hit, buried. Damn. And the offense averaged just 23 points per game. Quarterback keep, coming left, flashed it down at the eight, he lost a yard. Upon his return, the offense put up 37 points in back-to-back -back wins. Well, 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 you know what's wrong with this Cowboys offense right now? <laughs> Way to lower your shoulder by Elliott. He's very patient and confident. I want to break that play down. So he comes back. He comes back. Oh, clearly, well, clearly the Cowboys play better when he's on the field. You know, locking down that left tackle position is one of the most important, right? But let's see what happens. So we've got a fullback. Or do we? Upon his return, the up. Yes, we do. Offense put up 37 points. Is that an eye formation? In back to back win. Okay, so fakes to the fullback. Fullback's going to be uh, making some sort of lane. Gives it to the halfback, who's effectively Ezekiel Elliott. All five, all six, one, two, three, four, five, six, all six players are taken by someone, except for 54. Which is then going to be taken by the fullback. So the fullback's looking for 54. Targets him. I feel like 31's going to come across and try and defend. But Elliot's just going to drop his shoulder and absolutely steamroll him. Let's have a look. Well, well, well. No, it was that guy. 37 points in back to back wins. Look at that. Cuts inside, cuts on the outside again. There is not a lot of room through that lane, well, but he takes it. 
and it's a one on one. It, it, it is a, it, it's a straight up one on one. Straight up one on one. Twenty sevens coming up here, just like a fullback would. Okay, I've played fullback in the game of rugby before. You are the last line of defence. But what that means is that if if uh, if a player does get to you, that means that they've broken the line at some point, right? They've made a break. It's up to you as that last guy to try and bring him down. And sometimes it goes well, and sometimes it goes like this. <laughs> yeah. He's very patient and confident in, in his set. And that's hard to go in every week saying that, look, I'm just that guy every single week knowing that like you're that top dog on the field at all times. It's safe to say Dallas got this one right when they made him the first of six offensive linemen taken in the 2011 draft. They took six offensive linemen in one draft class. What? This is the first time Jerry Jones has ever drafted an offensive lineman in the first round in his 22 years. Jerry Jones. I think Tyron Smith has all pro written all over him. That is a big man. And that was back in 2011. All right, Tyron Smith, let's, let's, let's just have a quick look. You know, you start one of these videos and you think, nah, they're not going to interest me, right? I'm not going to look up their stats. I'm not going to feel any, any kind of way that's going to make me want to look up their stats. But by the end of every single one of these videos, I've always got some form of interest. And uh, this guy is about to turn 30. He is literally two weeks younger than me. I'm two weeks older than Tyron Smith. Well, fancy that. Uh, six foot five, 320 pounds, went the ninth pick in the first round of the 2011 draft, and he is currently on injured reserve. Why? Okay, so, right, so 2018, he started 13 games at left tackle, he earned a 76.5 grade from PFF, and marked him with eight penalties. Um, I honestly don't know if that grade's good or bad. The only grade I really know of is the quarterback grade. And even with that, I really still don't know what's good or bad. Uh, it seems that if you're in triple figures, you're doing quite well. This led to his seventh straight Pro Bowl selection since 20... Seventh straight! And he was named 78 in the list of the top 100 players of 2020, which we've just seen. So in 2020, this year, he'd been bothered by a neck issue spanning over the past few years. So on October 9th, which is last month, he announced that he would forgo the rest of the 2020 season after choosing to have surgery on his neck. And I assume he played in the first couple of games of the season. Okay. Oh my god. Are you guys seeing this? Are you guys fucking seeing this? <laughs> Can you imagine coming up against this shit? Oh wow, I can't. I actually can't imagine that. Um, who looks like the easiest guy to get past? Which one are you taking? I'm taking the middle guy. <laughs> I'm taking the middle guy, man. He looks the slowest. Okay? He looks the slowest. And I think we're going to call it a day there. So, Tyron Smith, uh, our first Dallas Cowboys player of the list. And any Cowboys fans out there, you'll, you'll most likely be massive fans of, uh, of Tyron Smith. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, consider liking it because it helps out a hell of a lot. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. And if you really, really enjoyed it, and you want to support me throughout this whole entire series, please head over to my Patreon page and consider um, pledging your support or become a, a YouTube channel member right here on this channel. Two interactive ways that you can um, you know, be involved with this channel. Support me financially. I don't get anything from this series. I just do it for fun. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.